Hello everyone. Welcome to Shankar IS Academy. I am Tejal Khandelwal, a faculty for Political Science and International Relations optional and GS Paper 2. Today is a very special day in the life of every Indian citizen. Today is the 26th of November, celebrated across India as the Constitution Day. Constitution is not merely a legal and political document. It is truly the embodiment of aspirations of the people. It is a way of life, as Aristotle says. If the constitution changes the very identity of how the state will be organized and the relationship amongst the states and its citizen will change. Thus, constitutions should be viewed in the broadest possible manner and truly defining the way of life. In the Indian context, the constitution came about after the years of foreign rule, colonial rule, which led to deep inequalities, discrimination and inequality amongst the British subjects. When we adopted the constitution of India, we truly became we the people to be treated equally as the citizens of India. The constitution enshrined various values like realization of justice, liberty, equality, fraternity, unity and integrity. The constitution makers had three key factors before them while they were forming the constitution of India and they were the unity and integrity of India, building a democracy and democratic institutions through rule of law and minimizing the deeply entrenched inequalities, the socio-economic inequalities. The constitution not only transformed the polity, it truly marked a revolutionary change in the life of citizens. Though the national revolution against the colonial rule had ended, the political as well as the social revolution continued. The constitution of India was truly about popular sovereignty. It was the qualitative and intrinsic will of its citizens which wanted this constitution. And we know that republics are built through public spirit, will and intelligence of its citizens. So India was on the journey of building a sovereign democratic republic and realization of the socialist goals and built on secular foundations realizing the various values. It is often understood and believed that constitutions are being shaped inside the courtrooms by the esteemed judges, lawyers and the elites. But the Indian constitution was truly a people's constitution. It was a two-way process. It was being shaped not only inside the courtrooms but 
also outside the courtrooms. It was being shaped not only by the judges, the lawyers and the elites, but also by the various marginalized groups, by the common citizen of India. Ambedkar had once pointed that constitutional morality is something that will have to be inculcated amongst the citizens. But as we see the development of the constitutional law, we can say that it is the various groups, the various communities belonging from diverse classes, caste, religions that truly shaped the Indian constitution. Thus, we can say that the Indian constitution is truly a people's constitution. It was the one where Indians were under the law, shaped the law, defined the law and lived it wholly. Constitution was the language amongst the state and its citizens. It was emancipatory but it was the citizens of India who realized this by, by claiming upon their aspirations within the courtrooms as well as outside it. They truly spoke of their rights and in the contemporary times also the PIL has emerged as a very important instrument for constitutional litigation which speaks of the various rights of Indians. So, if we see in some cases like the Balsara case in Bombay which spoke about the Bombay Prohibition Act being against the very fundamental right of citizens to live as per liberty and practice their profession and they need not take permit from the courts time and again or the administration to live through the value of liberty. We also see in other cases like where the sexual workers spoke about their right to practice their profession also being a fundamental right even though it conflicted with article 23 within the fundamental rights. Thus we can say that the citizens, the marginalized groups and guided by various identities, rights have truly made the constitution as a public resource through the statutes and even today it will hail and be successful only when the Indian citizens consider it as a mechanism through which they will realize their identity. So we can truly conclude that the Indian constitution which is one of the world's longest surviving constitution in post-colonial states is truly a people's constitution. Hope you have a great day today and relive through the memories of the Indian constitution. Thank you so much.